So let's move on to steroids. Yes. Uh, unless you, you had no, something but, else you wanted to say. Uh, no, we can discuss it after the steroids, because I have a comment about all these injections and surgery, which I think should go out well, to. I heard uh, from a distinguished colleague to my right yes. that you could spray steroids in the same zip code and they work. I always thought you had to inject them in the joint. One, one other question. I also heard that Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina isn't paying for cortisone injections any longer. Uh, I'm not aware of that. Okay. Okay. I but, wasn't. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. There is certainly controversy with regard to hyaluronic acid. Well, hyaluronic acid is controversial everywhere. But I, I had heard that they had made a payment decision based on. Well, I on think uh, you can go discussion. back with them. I think this latest article in our journal shows that it is effective in a certain patient population. But you do inject steroids into the joint. Yes, I think that's key. Absolutely. So the same. The same cautions about steroids. Uh, are, are the same as the high hyaluronic injections. Well, it's clearly right more effective if it goes in the joint. Uh, so there, one of the things, have you guys seen, there are some patients who can get some type of reaction, even from an intraarticular steroid. It's very rare, but they go home and they say, my blood pressure went up, or my blood sugar went up, or my face was flushed. I've got to tell you, I'm surprised. I thought you guys would go, oh, no, we don't do these shots. But it does really go to what you were talking about before which is patient-centered medicine, Correct. What, what the patient needs. My question is, if the patient wants to dance at his wedding or his daughter's wedding, yes. wants to go ski this weekend or this, this week because it's the kid's week off, is that reasonable and is it safe? Safe is where I'm going with this. So I've done it for myself or had oh, other people go there. there. What, what is that saying? Is it physici the physician who treats himself? <laughs> no, is there I a Shakespearean asked, line yeah, there on is, that? There is, but I'm not going. I have asked for injections in order to perform physical tasks. Well, thank God you asked for the injection. Yeah, I just yeah, had I didn't do, I didn't You're doing this on yourself. <laughs> but I think, I think in reality, we have nothing else to offer for immediate pain relief. We really don't. I think it's really important to also understand in this context the, the, uh, the onset of action of these various different products so that for this kind of immediate onset uh, or, or immediate need or semi-immediate need, steroids are really the way to go for this. Hyaluronic acid may take uh, three, four weeks as long as three months to reach their peak effect. So that's not the kind of thing you want to give to a person who needs to dance at the wedding. But uh, what I will typically do as well in this patient population who comes in and asks for an acute injection because they need activity um, is back it up a few, three, four days um, and then give them the injection. And then by the time that the event occurs, usually they're feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's, let, I, I want to bring yeah, up sure. one other point for the internists in the audience is that there is now growing evidence that if a patient is planning to have a knee arthroplasty, they probably should not have an injection of either steroid or any hyaluronic acid within three months of surgery. Why is that? You're taking the joint Well, out. there's a risk, increased risk of infection. Okay. So there was this initial study from Iowa, and there's a new study from Tom Skulko at Special Surgery that will be presented at our national meeting in March that the odds risk with either HA or steroid preparation increases the risk of really? infection in total knee if it's within three months. Okay, now so you, I think we should be cognizant of that. And I would push that even any injection because lots of people are injecting other types of things, platelet-rich plasma and stem yeah, cells yeah. and such. So any injection, any violation of the joint, I completely agree. Um, that's a hard line in the sand that's three months from that day and not before. So back off, do a joint replacement you're going to do this big procedure.